Hey guys, just out for my daily walk, trying to burn off some of those weekend calories. And it got me thinking, everyone knows someone, you must know someone, right? Who just can eat whatever they want and they are as skinny as a rake. You know, whatever they eat, they can put away burgers, pizzas, you know, they can put away a whole cake and they never put on a pound. Whereas someone like myself, maybe you as well, even if you just sniff a slice of pizza, it goes straight to your stomach. Annoying, right? But it's all to do with metabolism. Some people have really fast metabolisms. They find it really hard to put on weight, whereas others have super slow metabolisms and they find it really hard to lose weight. But here's the thing, if you do have a slow metabolism, there's ways that you can speed up, you know, there is hope for you, yeah, you can speed up your metabolism. We're gonna share three ways that you can do that. First way is to exercise more. Every time you exercise, every time you elevate your heart rate, you speed up your metabolism. So you're, you're using energy, you're, you're increasing your metabolism to burn fuel, to burn body fat. And if you wanna get a bit more specific, one of the best ways to, to increase your metabolism is through strength training. A lot of people think cardio, and cardio is great. Um, like I say, any form of exercise is going to be beneficial at speeding up your metabolism. But if you want to speed it up so that even when you don't exercise, you still burn a lot of calories, then strength training is the way to do that. And that doesn't necessarily mean you have to go to the gym. That's a great way to, you know, get your weights in and, of course, build strength and do some resistance training. But you can get a great resistance workout just through your own body weight as well at home. So it doesn't necessarily have to be at the gym. Uh, just using your, your own body weight is fine. You can build a lot of muscle doing that. And the more muscle you have, the higher your metabolism will be because muscle is metabolically active tissue. And the more muscle you have, the more calories you burn, even whilst at rest. And the third way, third tip I'm gonna share with you to how you can increase the speed of your metabolism Probably my favorite way is to increase your meal frequency. Most people eat less when they're trying to lose weight and you should eat less. You should eat less calories, yes, but you wanna increase the frequency of your meals because imagine this, you know, you, you're driving, you hit the motorway, you put your foot on the gas and you get your speed up to 70 miles an hour. And when you're on your motorway, when you're on the motorway, you're gonna have your foot hovering over the accelerator you know, and you're gonna keep adding gas to keep the speed up, right? It's the same with your food. If you take your foot off the gas for a long period of time, your speed is gonna go down and eventually you're gonna to come to a stop. That's like having you know, large meals, maybe once or twice a day. You're gonna have a big meal and then you're not gonna, you're gonna go for hours without eating. Your metabolism is gonna slow down because you're conditioning your body to conserve energy because your body believes that it's not getting fed for, for many hours, but by eating little and often, you're going to keep your metabolism high, you're going to keep the energy output high, and you're going to get a much bigger turnover, much bigger calorie output by doing that. So I hope you found those three tips useful. Firstly, exercise more frequently. Secondly, you know, do some strength training, some resistance training. And thirdly, last but not least, is eat little and often. I hope you found that useful. Please do like, comment, share with your friends, family, colleagues who would get benefit from this video. And I will see you on the next one.